Oh, well, 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 welcome, welcome back to, to, to Hot Live and uh, we're Wellington Live, sorry, Hot Line, Hot People, Hot Tips uh, and, uh, and Hot Hats. Hot hats, uh, yeah, we've I've got, got a, uh, Jackson, Jackson yeah. Drummond. Oh. But before you do, you got your magnificent hair star, your man magnificent beard as well, Some you know. Something like that, something like that. You have to cover it up, but how do you get it smooth, magnificent? Um, well, you know, my mates are always, uh in the mood for, uh, you know, attempting to be hairdressers. Uh, you know, they love to uh, have a go at uh, the old barber skills. Um, so I haven't had a birthday to, uh, you know, clean up at for a while, but um, I'm sure there'll be one soon where uh, this will go and that might go a little bit further. Something like Graham's probably, but we'll see how it all goes. <laughs> yeah, well, let, let's let's introduce each, everybody here. So I'm Sean Rush, I'm hosting with Sarah Jane Seddon and uh, our hot guest this afternoon with his hot beard uh, is Jackson Drummond. So Jackson, you're tied up with Ernesto's, that fantastic yeah. establishment yeah. here in Wellington. You want to tell us about what your tie up is, what your connection is, and how does the beard play out in it? Oh, well, um, it's the old man's business. Business. Okay. Um, so he's been in hospitality for you know yonks and yonks uh, and it's just kind of what I've grown up knowing um, it's something you know I'm very passionate about it's something that um, I'm keen to learn a lot more as I grow up um, it's just it's, it's a great place to work you know there's a really good culture around it where it's a lot of fun though a lot of yeah. family sort of uh, connectivity where you know everyone's there to support each other enjoy their day you know make a customer's day as well you know, it's it's just really, really good environment to Let's be. Let's finish this working. up. Go to Nesto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did the interview at Nesto? Yeah. Hey, well, that sounds amazing. So now you're a Wellington boy, born and bred. Uh, went to Scots, I think. Yeah. Now, have you yeah. got a? So you see yourself a, a future in in hospitality. You're talking passionate there. Are you, are you a foodie guy? You want to cook? Oh, or you just want well, to pints? Oh, I'm not flash at cooking, but uh, I love to eat. I don't miss a six pack. That's for sure. Uh, that's that's been and gone, and uh, no complaints there, eh? It's just such good food at the work. Oh, gotta love it. But yeah, Sarah J, you got yeah. something? Yeah, well, um, I had the like opportunity to have this beautiful food, course, drinks, and course. I got to go behind the scenes as well at Ernesto's. Yeah. Um, I would say, what is your favourite dish on the menu, and what is your favourite cocktail? Because I know you're uh, a bartender as well. Yeah, from time to yeah. Time. So, um, absolutely love our Cuban sandwich. I was about to say, from doing a stint in Cuba and getting to try the food over there and trying the sandwich over there, oh, like, Coming back to Wellington, trying all those like Cuban sandwiches everywhere else. It sounds biased, but oh, nah, Ernesto's. nah. Ernesto's is number uno. Numero uno. Numero uno. Yeah, that's that's where it lies. And then probably my favorite drink. Oh, gotta gotta love a good spicy marg, eh? You know, yep. just something that gets gets everything moving, gets gets the body flowing, get ready for that good night. You know, nice. something really yummy like oh, that. Oh, the way you're sort of like representing it is kind of like a, a morning drink. But uh, it depends on uh, when your morning is. For me, it's, it's something like midday. Yeah, it's happy hour somewhere. It's <laughs> five o'clock somewhere. You know, it's just how it goes. Yeah, we need to do this show a little bit, a little bit later in the day, so that we can <laughs> get some drinks going. Get <laughs> yeah, some going. Yeah. So, okay. So, so um, you know, so Ernesto's been here for a while. Uh, what's what's the future for you? Are you gonna uh, continue working with your dad, or are you gonna be uh, looking for opportunities, set up your own joint? Um, and you've got a story about the 21st that never happened. Oh, yeah. Well, um, you know, honestly, I, you know, I'm so passionate about hospital, I think it would be, you know, insulting to myself to not get into it. Um, so, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, starting to, uh, you know, claim on some inheritance or something and running your nestos, <laughs> or, um, you know, wanting to be a general manager elsewhere and start to, like, you know, learn how some other places in hospitality like to work as well, or, you know, just giving it a crack after that, at, you know, maybe opening up my own place. But the future, you know, it's a... It's a big scary thing and you know there's plenty of opportunity out there to uh take seas on and yeah well you, you go for it mate because when you get to my age the future is a lot a lot scarier actually it's a lot shorter <laughs> <laughs> i remember when i was your age on my 21st at the uh my flat uh next to the funeral parlor in arrow street Ooh. and uh the, my my world was ahead of me the, the the yard glass didn't go that very well but uh but anyway wellington city council took my stereo away from me at 4 a.m and uh, i would Fair. i would hate to think that you'd miss out on that opportunity oh, mate. <laughs> mate, nah, well um you know um before before i was doing my uh you know full time at Ernesto's, uh i was also working at massey halls wellington doing a residential assistant role there while right. i was studying and um it, it just uh by the way of uh, how everything worked out and the, the communications that went on it turned out uh 
I wasn't going to get that night off. So, um, <laughs> so um, I've been uh, decided I'm going to save up, going to uh, you know get myself my own flat, you know, find yep. a good pad for uh, a hadoozy of a 20 second, I reckon. You know, be a bit more second. mature about it. Maybe uh, two yardies just for the year late. Yeah. But. We'll see how it goes. Just keep the music down after 3 a.m. I'm I hear they are probably still are quiet. You know? <laughs> yeah, but, uh, well, hey, mate, yeah, hey, really good to have you on the show. Sarah, have you got some um, questions well, from the crowd? Well, I've got crowd? a, like, one, which is, where's your shirt from? Uh, well, just down from Huffer, down on Cuba oh, Street. Oh, got to love it. You know, just something cool. Shout out, Mum. Thank you for buying me the shirt. <laughs> love you. <laughs> Mum's around there. We love them. And honestly... <laughs> They know what looks best, don't they? That's the most important thing. <laughs> well, your mum does. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mum. I've got a question. Have you put hooks on the uh, back of the doors for, for coats? That's actually so funny. Literally this week, talking with our uh, main man, Andy, the builder who comes in. Yep, nah, uh, finally got the uh, screws in, got them all locked and loaded. So, uh, you know, Graham, just for you, mate, can you pop that shit up there? You'll be sorted. <laughs> <laughs> Well, great. So much. Thank you so much for coming on in. And, uh, you know, really good luck with the future and the 22nd birthday of the, the two yards. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, so, you know, good luck. Cheers. No worries. <laughs> yep. Thanks. You can't beat Wellington on a good day or even a bad day, too. You can't beat Wellington. It's a. Shape, but nonetheless it's true